Hey there, people. It's your old friend Steve again from Ultraceps T-Shirt Color Separation Software. And if there's one thing I get a lot of around here, it's questions. Questions about all kinds of stuff. You know, questions that really don't even pertain to me, you know, or my software. You know, they could be generalized screen printing questions, questions about Photoshop, Illustrator, you know, whatever. But, you know, I do my best to answer all of them. You know, I really do. And um, I received a question the other day, and I get this type of question a lot. And this one is from Larry in Arlington, Texas. I have a lot of customers down there in, in uh, Texas. Uh, he writes, Howdy, Steve. Yes, he, he actually did say howdy. He says, I don't have ultraceps, but was thinking that I could just use CMYK for all of my separations. Hmm, I don't know. If I convert my art to CMYK in Photoshop, it looks fine on my monitor, but when I print the job, it looks really bad. If I print it on a dark color, nothing is colorful or bright. And if I try it on white, it might look okay for a few prints, but then starts to get dark. And aside from the dark print, it just doesn't look right. Am I doing something wrong? Thanks. Well, Larry, this can be discussed for hours, but in short, uh, yes, you are doing something wrong. First of all, forget CMYK uh, separations for black or dark shirts, okay? More often than not, it's not going to work. The reason for that is that CMYK inks are transparent by nature, and even if they're printed on a white underbase, they're not going to be bright on a, on a dark uh, shirt. Now, you have seen, obviously, great-looking process colors on, uh, on dark shirts, maybe in magazines or at trade shows, but these are from screen printers that really specialize in this, and, you know, they've developed techniques to do it effectively, and, you know, they're using things like, you know, discharge bases, super high mesh counts, modifying the inks. They have their own little special, you know, formulas for things. Uh, they could be, um, they also could be using, um, you know, spot colors in addition to the process colors uh, to help it out. So, you know, there's, uh, as I said, you can, I can go on and talk about that for a long time, but avoid darks uh, with process color separations. Now, as far as the white uh, t-shirt problem, the reason why uh, you're getting it muddy is due to the fact that the yellow, the cyan, and the magenta channels are contaminated with black data. Now, if you look at the black channel, which is the K, and then if you look individually at each one of the yellow, cyan, and the magenta channels, you'll see that a lot of the information from the black channel is also in the cyan, the magenta, and the yellow. Now, in order for this to print cleanly, and especially to get good blacks out of this on press, a lot of that black data needs to be removed from the yellow cyan and the magenta channels. But the trick is not to remove 100% of it. There needs to be a little bit left there so it blends right, okay? That's problem number one. Problem number two is that your magenta and cyan channels are most likely too heavy. Now, they'll need to be pulled back a little bit, made a little bit lighter using, you know, levels or curves or something like that. And in addition to that global lightening of the cyan and the magenta channels using curves or levels, you'll probably need to work on some individualized areas with the uh, burn tool or the brush tool in Photoshop just to make some parts of, let's say, the yellow and the, and the cyan and the magenta channels lighter or darker to help image, let's say, a more solid part of that artwork uh, more accurately on press. Uh, so, you know, long story short here again, on for the CMYK on the whites, the problem is, you know, too much black data in the yellow, cyan, and the magenta channels, and the magenta and the cyan channel being too dark, too heavy, and they need to be lightened up. And that's about all I have to say uh, for today, and um, I'll see you next time, and we'll talk about a different type of question. Thanks a lot.